Good luck. All right. Um, All right, here we go. Let the tactics begin. Um, oh, emotes only, that's right. I have to switch that on just in case some random spectator comes by. Um, so this is the sharp stuff. Um, It would behoove me to know this a bit better than I do. Let's see. I'm trying to remember exactly what to play here. Yeah, no, the notion here is that if they go through with the aggressive tactic, it doesn't profit them to do so. Um, I'm trying to remember what to do next here. It's so strange, because in chess you just play, like, the most aggressive thing ever. And that's always, or almost always, the right thing to do. Here, not nearly so. In Shogi, um, the board is this rich, complex battleground wherein many ideas are possible. Uh, so, do I take this? I mean, I have to take it, but how do I respond after that?
Of course, there's a bishop drop idea that's concerning. Um, right, so now with my pawn locked in place back here, I can't pawn drop immediately in front of their rook. Um, I guess this move shows limitless optimism on my part. Which uh, really is not warranted. Not without sufficient reading. Um... Somehow I thought this would be okay. I thought wrong. Um, hmm, maybe it is okay. It's sketchy as hell, but maybe it's fine. Mm. Where do I want to put this? If I move it back here, they push this pawn once. Um, pieces do like to go up the board in general, but here I'm not sure if I'm feeling that. I have like two candidates. Yeah, no, this makes some degree of sense. Um, Yeah, I'm fighting this battle with only two pieces, and two pretty expensive ones at that.
This is not ideal. <laughs> Yuck. So, one way to fight this would be to bring out the knight right in front of my bishop, which is not happening. Um, plus, see, just bring out his knight, and I've achieved nothing. Another would be to just give up the pawn directly and get my rook somewhere else. But there are no good squares for my rook. Um, well, I could at least make an effort to complicate things. Yeah, we'll call this making an effort. Yeah, there's an obvious gap in my position. Um, so we'll stop a bishop from being dropped here immediately, which was available a turn ago, but... It's no longer there. I think they're so fixated on trying to trap my rook that they forget there are other possibilities. But the other thing I'm noticing is the players most anxious to get their games played are all like the 1Q and 2Q level players. So I can't feel too bad about having a very rough start at the beginning of this event. I should feel bad, just not too bad. That's a weird move. I mean, this is the pot calling the kettle black, but that's a weird move. Uh, so. What's the intent of this move? Oh, protecting the pawn so I don't take it. Okay. It's not about winning the rook anymore. Uh, although he could still use his bishop to try to win my rook. But that's not so much of a win as the rest of the things that I was looking at. Um... Um, if I push my knight, they can push the pawn to hit it. Oh, I could just oppose their pawn directly, couldn't I? Just a pawn drop. Reopen this position. I mean, they exchange and they pawn drop on my face again and I have to run away so that doesn't really achieve anything um yeah amidst all this chaos my best move is just improve my castle
Yep, they continue closing in. All right, let's try my idea. Just because an idea is flawed does not mean that it cannot be attempted. Um, I mean, yeah, there are numerous concerns about this, like um, my rook's going to get trapped. But I can get some initiative out of it. Okay, yeah, I see. No, he actually does play this now. Fully realizing the trap of my rook. Um, oh! This is what this whole sequence is about. Now I get it. Okay. I thought I was being clever, but no. Um, not even close. I can't count at all. <laughs> uh, counting is supposed to be a skill you use in Shogi. It, I did not count very well. All right, so we're going to try to lose as little material here as necessary. But there is going to be some material loss. I they um I can't even improve my position before doing it. That's sad. Whatever. Let's get this over with. Assuming he even takes it, which he might not have to. Well, no, I could push my fourth file pawn. That would be a way to make use of my tempo. Granted, that just makes it easier for him to promote. But um, if I somehow ever get a pawn in hand, then this fourth file pawn push could be useful for me to activate my bishop that I have trapped. <sighs> but yeah, I think best here for him is just push this. And, like, I'm not really threatening anything. My rook's on the wrong side of all the pawns. I just want my knight to promote or something like that, or my bishop to promote and take the lance. But it's so far away. So I think my fallacy here is that just because I didn't take a pawn doesn't mean that the rook is well posted on this rank. Like, it's possible to get your rook trapped even if you haven't taken a pawn. If you haven't played some sort of opening which is known for taking a pawn, you could still get your rook trapped.
So next I need to get my bishop active. It's not happening anytime soon, and even if it is, they can counter with an active bishop of their own. Um, maybe I try to activate a silver up here. Attack the knight, see what they do. At least that's a way to pass the time. Um, okay, they attack my gold. Um, interesting. I think they anticipated one move and didn't anticipate every move. Either that or they have some really awesome tactic lined up somehow. So I'm going to defend my gold. I'm going to stand my ground here. Um, and see if I can pick off this bishop. Because why not, right? Although it's not the greatest bishop there, but it's supporting Tukin takes pawn. And I don't like that attack. Um, so let's surround the bishop. Okay, they exchange their bishop for a pawn. I recapture. All right, so with that, they're threatening a uh, rook drop right next to my king. Uh, as well as numerous other drops. Um, so... If it comes down to a numbers game here, and just me being outnumbered trying to defend my king, um, I might need to place a piece. I can't just let them get a dragon right next to my king. It would help if I could see everything they were threatening, not just the one threat. If they had a bishop, it would be kind of clear what they're attacking. But, um, or rather, if they had the bishop and knight just uh, pointed at my castle, this would be clear. Here, I don't know. Ah, right. This is a way to bleed all of my material away. Okay. Um... I need, I mean, yeah, this exchanging knights is a little scary, but I need to activate my bishop, and I can do so while exchanging some material to make things complicated. Um... I 
think I just have to take that outright. I can't ignore it. Let's get a promoted piece on the board. A horse in defense is quite useful. So let's get ourselves a horse. Um, that is a tough choice. Well, I could try to defend by putting a pawn here and see how stubborn the defense is. Or I could place it up there and see if I could get an attack running quickly. I think I need the quick attack here because defense will not stand. It's not even close to a resilient defense. So we're going to post that aggressively and hope that there's something. Good old hope, Shogi. But yeah, I think I'm intending to take the Lance if they Silver drop. Maybe I take the Silver and then promote back... Well, that's not so clear. Because they have other pieces they can drop. I need them to drop both the Silver and the Gold. And then I can promote back here, hitting the Silver and trying to smash the Castle. That's if I take the Lance, which is generally ill-advised. Um, oh. Oh, that's clever. Um, at least it looks clever. But also, it's directly in the way of the token. Thankfully, my bishop covers the 6-4 square here. Um, they're considering, well, yeah, they have operations in motion already. Um, I don't. I can't get a pawn to easily block their operation. All right, our king is going to run up the board. That's just how it's going to go. I'm, well, okay, I still have no choice. Oh, wait, is that mate? Uh, king up, check, king up, yeah. That looks a lot like checkmate. I've not seen this pattern before, but 
it's good to add it to the collection. The King of Pawn Push is mate in one. All right, very well played. Uh, good game. Um, let's see. I don't know if they do post game analysis or not. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting game. Um, maybe this. I don't really know. Hmm. Ah, uh, this looks complicated. Um, but this gives me something to want to study in the future. Um, yeah, but the deal when I'm playing in this tournament is that finding opponents, um, uh, well, I guess here I can just comment. This looks better for you. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess we'll leave it there. Um, I have to study this more. Yeah. Oh, this is about an equal game. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. Have a nice day. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't need to put... Um, the, the unfortunate aspect of this supernova is that... Um, well, it the majority of the player base is not international. So occasionally... Uh, Post-game analysis can be, on my part, difficult because I do not yet know Japanese. Um, in the future, we can work on that. But, uh, yeah. It's at least good to know that this position um, is a Tabia. Uh, I thought I had remembered this correctly. But here, probably instead of this aggressive pawn push, which just got me in trouble, um, there's any number of things I should have considered, like this. Um, like, I don't know, like this. Well, if this, then... No, that's not such a problem. I don't know. I have to study this more. Uh, watch more games by high-level players. But by playing in this tournament... I can get some idea of where the holes in my repertoire, other than everywhere, where more specifically they are, uh, so I can work on fixing them. So yeah, this is an excellent response to my bishop drop, and points out, like, I really want to drop the bishop back here or here somewhere, and it's not feasible at the moment, um, but I need to work on that. Um, so, but yeah, it's good getting practice against uh, strong players, or strong beginners.